Yo, what's going on guys? Mikey here from Disco 2 Overland. I'm on my way now to a beach parking lot. I'm gonna pull over, I'm gonna do a quick video just walking around the truck, showing you some of the mods that I've done since ownership. I've had it about a little over two years. Uh, if you're new to the channel, tune in. That's why I'm making this video. Any new Instagram followers or, or channel subscribers, I'm gonna be showing you what I've done to my truck because I get a lot of questions every single day. So I'm gonna just do another video, even though like, I did do one over the summer way more in detail so go check it out uh, it's actually got a lot of views got like 14,000 views which is crazy um, but I'm just gonna do another quick video like I said not really do much editing uh, and, and just do a quick walk around so I'm pulling into the parking lot now um, I'm gonna go make my way over here I'll hop outside and we'll uh, start from the front make our way to the back and we'll see where the video takes us but it's gonna be a quick one so uh, stay around and uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. I'm trying to grow my page, trying to post more. Uh, comment below what you guys want to see, because I'm running out of ideas. So, there goes the camera. I'm pulling in now. So, I'm pull to the back a lot. Let's start it. All right, so starting up front, not going in any particular order of how I uh, modified the truck. Just start in front, making way to the back. Uh, right here, I got a uh, ARB bumper. It's a great bumper, heavy duty. Um, it's not the most low profile bumper, but I really like the look of it, so it'll do for now. Uh, in the bumper, I got a 12,000 pound Warren winch with the synthetic rope. Highly recommend the synthetic rope. It's a lot better than the cable. Got these yellow Pia's. I think they're six inch, uh, not 100% sure. These are awesome, highly recommend. Headlight experts, go check them out on Instagram. Highly recommend, they're 100 bucks. Changes the whole truck at night, it's amazing. You, you don't even need the, all the off-road lights with just those lights. Up here, I got high lift mounts, got my high lift jack. I just throw it up there because I need it for the beach and everything like that for where I go. Never really use it. Uh, moving down here, we got a two inch lift, terra firma. Um, it's actually a medium duty lift, uh, medium duty shocks all around and springs in the back, but heavy duty springs in the front. Um, it does sag a little bit in the back with all the weight. So we'll maybe change that out eventually. Underneath, new steering stabilizer, terra firma. I got uh, diff guards, which are awesome. Also terra firma, all from Lucky Eight. Uh, use my disco co uh, discount code uh, D two O V R L N D. Um, yeah, yeah, like five percent, something off, but it's something covers the tax. Uh, EVC brakes all around. The yellow stuff pads, freaking amazing. Definitely helps out when I do all my towing, wheeling, everything else. Lucky Eight snorkel. It's been good. Uh, I got the Pia's up on the roof. They're okay. Not the best, you know, light projection. They're more for looks. I wish I had something that gave off a wider uh, projection of light, but they work. I'm gonna be adding side lights and everything else like that. Rock sliders, also from Lucky 8. Working away. Oh, uh, 265, 65, 18s on the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrex. Got one inch spacers, gives it a nice little a lot better stance, all right? Disco 2 Overland, check me out on Instagram if you haven't already. Uh, light bar on the back, 40 inch or 39 inch. Awesome for at night. Brand new ARB Simpson 310. Love the thing. Uh, I, I actually haven't slept in it yet. I just picked it up. Uh, upgrading from the Hutch tent, which was a Prospector 2 two person, uh, which was great, but I'm excited to have a three person. ARB matching touring um, awning. I also have the screened in room for the awning as well as the annex for the tent. Uh, I forget the size of the awning, but if you have a question, let me know, I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, back to the back, I got the plastic um, light guards. Uh, so the metal, I don't like the metal ones. I think they look cool, but if you catch it on a branch, it'll just rip the whole light out. So avoided that. Um, this, my Midland Ghost Antenna. I'm gonna eventually build a, a bracket that goes under the tent. But I threw it there for now for my Micro Mobile. Great company, Midland USA. Got an Atlantic British ladder on there. Uh, down below, got a uh, rear bumper. I got this one from River Bros. All right, got my hydraulic step. 
all right might take that off eventually as well as cut off the resonator um i do want a slimmer uh profile rear bumper but i do tow so i'm always going to have that there so i don't know if it's worth it i just want to protect my quarter panels on the side here right there so uh this side's kind of the same it's pretty much it on the outside it's a great looking truck so let's make our way to the inside got the tan interior inside factory mats again all stock i got an extron's head unit not a huge fan uh this thing doesn't really work um so i'm going to be getting a pioneer uh that i mentioned over the summer just still haven't done it got a third cup holder everything else is stock in here did put the cdl in out of a 99 uh micro mobile 2 from midland usa highly recommend uh, i got my three amigos on the dash because you know it's a land rover i've been through like four sensors uh the shuttle valve bypass and a uh wheel hub all front left p1590 is the code pain in the ass ultra gauge over there not on that side of the truck because i have company for some reason so uh got the wood all around come to the back same thing fishing rod in the way hopefully not gonna break it uh, and that's it make our way to the trunk and that'll be it for the video real quick also did the black headliner which i love i think it looks good with the you know accent with the tan and the cream and uh, sunroofs work, resealed them. I did the headliner myself with a friend. You know, not a bad job. So I'm gonna go relocate before I show you guys the trunk. A lot of people pulled up. So I'm gonna go to a different beach. Got some rain today. So, um, stand by. Yeah, I got 132,000 miles on the truck. I bought it uh, a little over two years ago. It was 14 when I got it, bone stock. Uh, so if you follow my Instagram, you'll see the whole progress of the build, which has been pretty epic. Um, but yeah, I got it with 119,000 miles. So it's definitely held up. I did do the head gaskets uh, last April, about a year ago. And that's it. Plans for the truck. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with, uh, I actually, I own the onboard air. Uh, twin ARB compressor. I think I'm gonna mount it under the seat here. Just haven't really had the time. Um, another thing that I did that I didn't mention in my other video is I did spend about like $2,000 on um, all JL Audio um, speakers all around. I got a 700 watt amp down uh, under my seat and a 10 inch Kenwood sub in the back. Thing kicks ass. It's amazing how good it is. Problem is a couple of the speakers were dropping out one by one. Take it back to the shop that did it and I got, you know, they taped all the wires behind the, uh, behind, behind the door cards and told me I had to pay them extra for them to use heat shrink crimp connectors, which is complete bull crap. Um, you know, they, they lost all my screws and broke all the clips for the door panels. Again, hit me up, I'll, I'll show you the pictures, it's insane. Um, they used sheetrock screws to put my door panels back on. Um, question, the second I question them, the guy threatens to sue me. Like I said, I'm a 17 year old kid and the way that he treat, treated me was insane. Uh, so, you know, we had our battle and uh, if you don't mind, go check out Audio Planet Huntington, New York on, uh, on Google. Give them a one star review because I don't know how they're still in business. It is really just, it, it's insane how they're still in business. Freaking scam people like that. Charge professional install on a $3,000 system. And that's what you got. Sheetrock screws and electrical tape. Absolutely unbelievable. So here we are, working our way to the back, relocated to the beach, uh, to the boat ramp, that is. Sorry, trunk's a mess. Um, so this is my old sub, not in use. So I'm going to probably do this in aluminum, take this, slide it over here, uh, get my pack out and have two vertically right here uh, and keep all this stuff the same. Um, so that's for that door and then uh, onboard air like I said in the front I do want to do gold wing windows, but that'll do, you know not now um, Eventually again, I want to do shelving in the back and have a fridge But you know not on the radar for this second I'm pretty busy with some other things and not really overlanding yet like you know across the country But soon uh, I'm going on a trip over the summer to go and, and I'm camping so that'll be fun um that's pretty much it for the truck though. Uh, I do have some extra 
with some electrical tape. So if Audio Planet wants it, maybe, you know, maybe I'll just give it to them. And here, they can use these screws too. They're not sheetrock screws. Anything's better than sheetrock screws. Freaking morons. So, yeah, go give them a one-star review. Anyway, this is my truck. If you're new to the channel, hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, comment below or go follow me on Instagram. I do post every day. It's Disco2Overland. And uh, pretty good about answering DMs. And that's it. Great day down here. Storm just rolled in. Truck looking great. Oh, Yank straps. You got to go follow them and get some straps. Saved the day a couple weeks ago upstate. So, um, yeah, you'll see some of my partners that I work with in my Instagram bio. Um, so head over there. Definitely go check everyone out. And uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. It was a quick one. Nothing fancy. No, no fancy editing. Uh, not that it ever is. But uh, I'm trying. I'm making some content. Let me know what you think of the truck. If you have any questions, let me know. Follow me on Instagram. Do all the normal YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Oh, and before everybody asks, my frame is mint. No rot, no rust. Very happy about that. And I also have a rear differential guard, also from Terra Firma, that I didn't put in the video. But I do have a how-to install video on my channel. But I did want to add that I have one in the rear as well. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.